Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to extend the Tailwind themes. This will allow you to put custom colors, sizing, font, anything you can really think of. It's really helpful when you're creating a project that has specific branding guidelines. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Before I get started, I post a lot of content involving JavaScript, specifically Vue and Tailwind. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Anyways, let's get started. So here I've already got a project created with both Vue and Tailwind installed. If you don't know how to do that, I will link a previous video of mine explaining how to install these two into a new project. You should go watch that and then come back. Now that you have your blank project in front of you, we want to add a Tailwind config file so that we can add our custom themes. If you go to the Tailwind website and just click this get started button, let's go to installation and click this view button. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to right here where they have their module exports for their Tailwind config.js file. I'm gonna just copy this chunk of code, go back to my project and in the root add a new file and call it tailwind.config.js. Inside of here, I'm going to paste the code I just copied and then in this theme extend, we can add any extensions we want. So I'm gonna start off by just adding some colors. I'll name it primary, primary. And the color I'll give it, let's look one up. Hex colors. I will go with this bright green color, why not? All right. Something to keep in mind here is that all of the keys or the names of whatever you're adding has to be strings. As well as whatever you add, it has to be a string. So just remember that. So now if we go back to our app.view, I'm gonna add just a p tag, give it class, we'll say text primary, and then we need to put some text, I'll just say test. Save it, and if we go back to our page, we can see it's there. If you're not seeing your text appear with the correct color, try rerunning your terminal. Uh, sometimes it just needs to recompile. Back to our project, if we go back into our Tailwind config file, let's say we have two primary colors, one green color and one pink. We can extend this primary label. We can add green, which is gonna be that hex color we already have, and let's add a pink. I'm gonna go back to my hex color where I've already selected a pink shade. We can go back, paste that in there. Now if we go to app.view and say text primary dash green, we'll have green text. And if we say background primary dash pink, it should be our primary green color on our primary pink background. And here you can see it works. One frustrating thing that is worth pointing out because it took me a hot second to figure out Tailwind already has their default classes. So they have their colors, their sizing, and all of that. So for example, they have different shades of red and you say text red 500. If you were to go into your Tailwind config and name something red, none of those default Tailwind colors are going to exist anymore. So let's go to our app. I'm gonna put a div down here. Let's say with 40 height, 40 background color, background red 500. We go back to our app, we're gonna see this big red square with a default Tailwind class, background red 500. Let's go to our Tailwind config and add red, and then I'll give it just our pink shade. This rectangle on reload, it disappears because all of those red shades have been overwritten. It's not gonna work. So that's something to remember as you're creating the names of your custom classes. Of course, there's more than just colors that you can customize. So if we go back to our Tailwind config file, outside of colors, let's add a custom width. So I'm gonna add width and I'm gonna make it say, I'll call it big and it's gonna be say 650 pixels. If we go to app, delete our width 40, and instead we'll say with big and let's change background to 
blue 500 instead of our red, our rectangle grew. So now we have our custom width big. Again, if we go to tailwind config and outside of width, let's say border radius, and I'll say super round is the name of it, and we'll say 999 pixels. Go back to app.view, and let's say border, or I think it's rounded, not border, rounded, super round, and we're gonna get a super round div. So there are a lot of different themes that you can customize. If you go to back to our Tailwind website, scroll down in the sidebar to theme and click it, you can see the default themes that Tailwind gives you and you know anything that can be edited. So this is definitely something worth reading over. I'll link it in the description below. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel as I do a lot of content involving Tailwind. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.